Do you remember, in previous videos there were moments of 3D printing, which can cause seasickness. I decided to fix this problem by installing a time-lapse camera. I hope to get a video like this. I have a few free ESP32 cams. After a little googling, I found out that on ESP32 you can make a simple time-lapse camera. Okay, let's test it. Loading the sketch to ESP32, and then we check what its firmware can do. I will leave a link to the author's GitHub project in the description under the video. After downloading the sketch, you need to connect to the router and see what IP address the ESP32 received or view this information in the port console. Then we enter this IP in the address bar, and we get to the settings and camera control page. Let's start the stream and see how it works. Well, video streaming works fine, this feature is great for adjusting the camera position before printing. Let's install the SD card and check how the time-lapse shooting mode works. We take a few pictures. After which we open the USB flash drive on the PC and, we don't find anything there. Several hours of studying the code show that when running a time lapse through the web interface, ESP32 crashes with a hard fault. Having studied the code a little, I did not find the reason, why this happens. In the end, I slightly redid the firmware for my needs, fixed a bug with the operation of the flash LED, removed the time lapse start button from the web page, made the launch of a time lapse on power supply. Let's try to record a test time lapse video. We supply power, connect to the ESP32, turn on the stream and observe how time-lapse is written. We take a dozen photos, each photo is accompanied by a flash. Next, using FFmpeg, we make a video. We set 5 frames per second, since we do not have enough photos, I will leave a link to FFmpeg and a command for rendering a time-lapse video from photos in the description of the video. Let's look at the result. On the internet I found a case model for such a camera, so I did not draw the model from the very beginning. Therefore, let's go straight to printing. I hope this is the last time I print with my phone. I'll leave the link to the source in the description of the video.
Next, you need to power the ESP32 from a regular USB charger. To do this, I took a USB cable from an old faulty mouse, soldered the connector, and check it all in operation. It remains to figure out how to attach the camera to the printer, here I had to draw and print my bracket. The next step is to install it on the printer and check what happened. As you can see, the camera is easy to install and remove without additional tools. Now it's time to print the test model and watch the resulting video. I chose the Baby Yoda model. I think it will perfectly complement the composition with ATST. I will leave a link to the STL model of Baby Yoda in the description. Thank you so much in watching. Don't forget to subscribe, there will be many more interesting things.